this video is just a quick review of a keyboard from Logitech, the K310. It is a washable keyboard. I have washed it and it cleans up real nice and it does take a little bit of time to leave it to dry but works just fine afterwards. I was a bit disappointed to see that it looks as though it has been discontinued but you can still purchase it online so going to go ahead and review it anyway. I'm not sure why it was discontinued from Logitech. I bought it at the end of 2013 and used it for most of 2014. What I liked about it was the keys. They have nice low profile here. They're easy to press. It's not very noisy, which I really liked. I liked how the keys layout is the same as what my other keyboards are. On the back, it comes with a little brush, which is really nice. You can just pop this off and, you know, get those little dust bunnies off from in between the keys. And it stays right here so you don't lose it. And you've got your foot there. Comes with a nice long cord. And at the end of the cord, it has this cap that you can put over the plug so that when you're washing it, it doesn't damage it. I wouldn't recommend putting this at all in your water anyway, but just in case you get splashed some water on it, that'll put that on real tight and it'll protect it. Uh, one thing that I also appreciate about this keyboard is as you can kind of see, some of the letters are a little faded like the H and the N. But after a whole year of use to still be able to see a little bit ghosting of those letters is amazing. Uh, a lot of times I'll buy a keyboard and within a month or two months these keys, the letters are completely gone. That's how durable this keyboard actually is which is really nice. I Thought I purchased it for under $40. I could be mistaken. It looks like online now it's running $40 plus. But again, if you've got children who have sticky fingers or you're prone to spilling liquids on your keyboard, this is a great buy for you because it's washable. So basically if you're spilling water or something on there, soda or something, it's not going to ruin the inside of it. Just throw it in the sink, rinse it down, let it dry, and you're right back. To having a viable keyboard. I would recommend that you do use a wrist rest. It does not come with one. I will link up the website for ergonomics and your workspace from the OSHA website and that link you'll find below in the information but underneath the video itself. This is what the box looks like. And again, it says washable. Here's your code, your PC code. And it is touting, again, that you can throw it in the sink and wash it. The keys are low profile. It has the UFI protection so that the keys, the, the lettering lasts longer. It is low profile. The keys are nice. I really like it. It's a quiet keyboard as well, which is nice. And there's the other information that it gives. So again, that's the K310 Logitech washable keyboard. Nice keyboard, nice price point. It does wash well, and it's good for those people who, or people with children, who have a lot of spills or sticky fingers. Be sure to catch all the upcoming videos on this channel by subscribing and you can also find me on Facebook and Twitter. So I appreciate you watching and best wishes.